What's up guys, it's Zach with Vantage Point Drones. Today we're going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to screen record with your DJI remote. Right there. Bad guy. Oh my god, where is she? Roll down your window. There she is, right there. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. There might be a fence actually. There might be a... Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. In the business of animal rescue, screen recording is a really important part of the process and we want to just make sure that you guys have a good understanding of how to screen record and then how to upload it to your computer and some things that you can do afterwards with your screen recordings that are going to help your business, especially in the aspect of animal search and rescue. Not only does screen recording your flights help protect you, but it's also going to help you market your, your content and just capture important moments during the rescue process. So when we talk about screen recording, it's recommended that you guys start screen recording as soon as you begin your flight. Not only could this help protect you guys, uh, I've had instances where you know people have approached me and you know threatened things like shooting down my drone or something like that. And because I was already screen recording, uh, that recording actually aided me in my process with law enforcement. I actually had a law enforcement officer who wanted a copy of my screen recording, uh, or at least the audio portion of it, uh, so that they can use it in their investigation against somebody that uh, threatened to shoot down my aircraft. But aside from that, one of the reasons why I recommend screen recording the entire flight is primarily because you're going to capture these moments that are really important as far as marketing your content and just sharing your rescue experience to your viewers which in turn is really important to things like the amount of calls that you're going to get and you know how soon you get calls and just how how interested your community is in what you are doing because if you're only posting the rescue itself you know eventually that's going to get dry for your viewers and a lot of them are, you know, are, are going to lose interest in your content. Uh, so if you screen record the entire process, you'll capture other, other important things and other interesting things and you know, interesting parts of conversations. And uh, it just really makes for good content capturing. And then also, you know, the moments leading up to the successful location of your your animal that you're searching for. You know, to actually capture that moment when you do find this lost animal you are going to capture typically like client reactions you know if your client is standing nearby and you find their animal i mean the reaction from them is uh is usually something that makes for good media content so instead of just deciding to screen record in the moment you find the animal just screen record your entire flight now we don't recommend posting your entire flight you know, you wanna make sure that you're cropping and trimming a lot of these things, but just record the entire flight and make sure you capture everything. So guys, I'm gonna take you to a screen recording on the DJI Remote. Um, if you have a DJI Remote Plus or the DJI Remote Control Pro, it's going to look similar to what I'm showing you. It's probably very similar on other remotes. I know it's similar on like my DJI Mini 3, uh, but this is definitely going to cover you if you're flying like a Mavic 3T or a Matrice 30T. Alrighty guys, to start the screen recording process, once you're in your remote here, all you're going to do is from the top right corner of the screen, you're going to swipe down twice with your finger. So once, twice, and it'll bring up this menu here. Uh, you'll see that I am already screen recording, so I'm not going to press the button itself but you're gonna look here on the middle of the screen where it says record screen right there. And all you're gonna do is press that button. As soon as you press that button, it's gonna start recording your screen. And you'll see here on the left-hand side, I got a little timer uh, that is just telling you how long you've been screen recording for. So what you can do with that timer right there is you can actually press on that timer and you can move it around. So if you wanna move it out of the way, uh, maybe it's kinda of in the, the way of some of your flight data, you can put that anywhere you want 
and that'll tell you how long you've been screen recording for. On top of that guys, another thing that I want to show you, and I'm gonna have to show you with a photo here, because what it is, is when you've been flying for a while, like let's say you've been flying for, you know, 45 minutes and you haven't found anything significant, you know, it's nothing, nothing that you wanna keep, no video recording that you intend on keeping, so you want to get rid of that stuff. So once you hit the record screen button again, it will stop your screen recording. And I'm gonna pull up a photo here on the left-hand side of this menu that we're looking at. It will give you a pop-up tab that uh, will give you the option to share your screen recording or delete. So when you pause your screen recording, you'll have the option to share that screen recording uh, to a phone. If you have a iPhone, this does not work for you. If you have an Android, you'll be able to uh, Bluetooth share your screen recordings directly from your remote to your phone. Um, I have an iPhone, so I cannot do it this way. But if you are an Android user, that is a way to share this stuff directly to your phone via Bluetooth. And then right next to that, you'll see the delete button. So if you've recorded and it's just a bunch of junk that you don't plan on using, as soon as you stop your screen recording, hit delete, and then go right back to screen recording again. This will save you storage space. It's the whole point of doing this, to save you storage space. Uh, that way you're just not building up like two hours of screen recording. You maybe have like a half hour, 20 minute screen recording and it's going to upload significantly faster, especially if you're transferring it via Bluetooth. Um, you know, we upload everything directly via Type-C to a computer, but even that can take a while if you're uploading a two hour screen recording. And it's gonna be a lot of like unnecessary storage space on your remote and on your computer. So just utilize that quick delete function uh, just so that you don't have to go back into your gallery of the remote to view your screen recordings. So on top of that guys, to view your screen recordings here, you can back out directly here to the gallery and here you can view all of your screen recordings. It's as simple as that. Alrighty guys, next, now that we have our screen recording, what we're gonna be doing is taking it from the remote and uploading it to a computer. Just to reiterate, you know, if you have an Android device, you can move it directly from your RC Plus or Pro via Bluetooth. Uh, if you're an iPhone user like me, you might be stuck doing it this way. Um, just another thing to, you know, add on to that is if you are going to do a Bluetooth transfer. Just be cautious. Um, you do lose a little bit of image quality when you transfer via Bluetooth. Um, so we tend to uh, directly move the file 100% of the time. So as once you plug in your DJI remote control to your computer uh, via USB-C, you will get a pop-up here. It's going to look like this. And this is going to be your internal storage that is built into your remote. All your screen recordings are gonna store within that internal storage. Go ahead and click on the internal storage. And you'll see a bunch of different folders here. The folder that we're gonna be looking for is the movies folder. Once we're here, you're gonna see all your screen recordings. Your latest is going to be in the bottom right unless you sort it in a different way, but by default, it'll be at your bottom right. And you can go ahead and just click on the screen recording to verify that it's the correct one. From here, all you're gonna be doing is taking your screen recording and moving it to where you want it. Uh, we put all our stuff into separate folders. Uh, we have a dedicated folder for our animal rescues. Let's go over here. Pet rescues. All we do is we just label the folder by the name of the pet and then they're, they're dated and everything. Um, once things build up in my computer's internal storage, we move it to a two terabyte hard drive just to save on storage space. So we have our test folder here. We're gonna use that for this example. So you can go ahead and either right click and select copy. Go over to your test folder here. You can paste that into the test folder and there you go. Um, if you don't want to use the copy feature, you can just click and drag it, drag it right into your test folder. 
Now, some of you guys may only want to edit this video on your phone. So, you know, the way that we go about getting it from the computer here to our phone is we utilize Google Drive. So, if you want to utilize Google Drive, if you have a Gmail account, you are going to have access to Google Drive for free. So, once you get to Google, select the Waffle logo up here, go down to your Drive account, and then go to my drive on the left hand side go ahead and right click new folder we can title this like our pet rescues folder however you want to label it whatever is going to be good for you so that you remember where you put everything go ahead and click into here so now once you have this google drive folder created it's going to look something like this Go ahead and go back to our test folder. And all we can do from here is just click and drag into this folder. You're gonna see in the bottom right that it is uploading. Once it's uploading, you'll see it here. So now that we have everything in Google Drive, guys, all we're gonna be doing next is accessing Google Drive from our cell phones. So go onto your cell phone, go into Google Drive, and download the file. You'll see, it'll look a little different on mobile, but you'll see like these dots. And you'll be able to go over here and there should be a download tab for this video when you access it on your phone. From there, it should download directly into your gallery on your phone. And from there, you're gonna put it into an editor of your choice. Uh, we use things like TikTok and CapCut and the Captions app. Uh, those are three good good places to start if you don't really know anything about editing. Uh, a lot of people use Cap CapCut. Uh, TikTok has a AI feature that will you know, edit some of these things for you. And then we use the Captions app uh, that will also use AI editing for shorts and add captions to all your videos. Other than that, guys, that should be pretty much everything that you need to know as far as screen recording. So guys, hopefully you have a better understanding now how to screen record, uh, some of the extra features that go along with it, and then how to take that screen recording and actually upload it to your computer or your phone. From this point, you know, as far as running your animal rescue business here, it's highly recommended that you guys learn how to edit these videos. And this is something that takes a, a lot of practice. And it, it took me a lot of practice. And I'd say it was definitely one of the more challenging things that I've had to learn as far as, you know, marketing my company and marketing my services but you know but learning how to do this has tremendously helped in my call volume uh, as far as you know how many calls I'm getting on a weekly basis and then how soon people call me which we're going to address this in a different section of my training program if you're a thermal drone pet rescue pilot and you're struggling to get calls sooner or maybe people are calling you and you know and they haven't seen their animal in a week or four days or five days or sometimes even three days can be a non-ideal situation but if you're struggling to get people to call you or get people to call you sooner we're going to be addressing that in a new module of our program we've gotten a significant amount of feedback from pilots and members that have taken our program and we've recognized that this is a major issue with pilots all over. So I wanted to take a deeper dive and explain to you guys how you can go about solving this issue and how to improve your situation in your community. And a big factor in that, along with a few other key elements that I'm going to share in the training program, is your marketing. So hopefully now that you understand how to screen record and what to do with it afterwards. If you guys are watching on YouTube, I wanna just encourage you to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on more free content that we'll be dropping as far as animal rescue training and the rescues themselves and a few other developments that we have, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you later.